trade union advisor, founder member of Freedom for Öcalan campaign and supporter of the Kurdish freedom movement, Bert Schoenberg. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, it's good to be here. Thank you. So our main topic is the Kobani trial of 108 people, including the HDP's arrested former co-chair Figen Yüksekdağ and Selahattin Demirtaş will be held on the 26th uh, April in Ankara. Uh, so what do you consider to be significance of the HDP in Turkey, first of all? Well, I think the HDP is extremely significant uh, in Turkey. It is the, the third largest uh, political party. Uh, it has an emphasis on participatory and uh, radical democracy. Uh, and, and as such plays a, a key role um, in, in, in opposing uh, the, go the government of Erdogan uh, uh, and uh, as such deserves to be supported. What does the repression and attacks against the HDP indicate about democracy and the rule of law in Turkey? Um, well, there's a, there's a, there's a uh, what we can call a, a constitutional democratic framework uh, in, in Turkey, uh, but it, unfortunately it has been abused by President Erdogan, uh, and one only has to look at the thousands and thousands of people that are uh, currently languishing in, in Turkey's jails, uh, on what can only be called uh, uh, trumps up charges uh, to see that this uh, that the the, the uh, democratic institutions of the country have been uh, have been abused uh, by those uh, by those in power uh, and the trial of Monday of course is just a, another another example of that um, so I think uh, the, the, the rule of law, um, really uh, uh, ceased to exist as, as such in Turkey and uh, as it is, is been, um, has been misused uh, by, by the president uh, and those in power for, for their own ends. How do you think international organizations and specifically the trade union movement uh, can act to pressure their own governments and support the HDP? Well, first of all, I think it's very important uh, that those of us in, in trade unions, uh, trade union organisations, do support the HDP and uh, do pressure our governments into doing something. Uh, because sadly, uh, governments, uh, certainly in the UK uh, and in the European Union, uh, turn a blind eye to what's going on in Turkey. Uh, we're here in the UK, we're told uh, on the news virtually every day that there's human rights abuses in China, there's human rights abuses in Russia, but Turkey is never mentioned, uh, despite uh, the abuses committed by President Erdogan both inside Turkey uh, and outside Turkey uh, in his persecution of the Kurdish people. So it's incumbent upon us to put pressure on governments uh, to take notice of this. Uh, and act accordingly. It's equally important for us to educate our own members, to tell them how important it is, because this, what's happening in, in Turkey uh, has, has, a, has a ripple effect all across the region. Uh, and uh, as you know, those of us who are involved uh, in, the, in, the, in the trade union campaign uh, to free Oshilan uh, believe that the Kurdish question and the the uh, and freedom for Ashland is, is is central uh, and essential uh, if we are ever to achieve uh, a peace a peaceful solution uh, to the conflicts in the wider Middle East. Dear Bert Skomenberg, um, trade union advisor and founder member of the Freedom for Öcalan campaign, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your comments today. Thank you very much. Thank you.